Luz Chacon, and I'm a wellness coach and EFT or tapping practitioner, as well as the founder of Salud y Alegría Wellness. I help people who struggle with stress and emotional eating to heal their relationship with food and with themselves using mind-body modalities to free them from stuck patterns. EFT or emotional freedom techniques, also known as tapping, is an ideal modality for helping people to release emotional blocks and limiting beliefs. In case you're not familiar with EFT, it's a clinically proven stress reduction technique within the realm of energy healing or energy psychology. It combines both Eastern practices and modern psychology by using your own hands to tap on acupuncture points or acupressure points within the meridian system. Before I demonstrate the technique, let's talk a bit about emotional eating. When I started coaching, I found that stress and emotional eating is what most gets in the way of being able to eat clean. The motivation to lose weight or to manage a chronic disease is not always enough, nor is willpower. It's very common for people to reach for their favorite comfort foods to self-soothe or when they're feeling stressed or feeling other upsetting emotions. We live, in, we live very hectic lives and many of us are juggling lots of different responsibilities. Women in particular can struggle with emotional eating because we're socialized to put others before ourselves and we tend to put ourselves last. When our needs aren't being met, food can offer reward or the pleasure that we're lacking. In fact, in working with women who struggle with emotional eating, I've seen some common patterns such as caring for others while neglecting our own self-care, perfectionism, being hard on ourselves, especially when we make mistakes, fear of speaking up or of setting boundaries, saying no, comparing ourselves and not feeling good enough. These patterns can also be common in people who develop autoimmune conditions. It's time for us to break these patterns and prioritize our self-care. Tapping is a great way to start. So let's do it. 